it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Bad at night, looking at the camera. Good, good, good. Preloaders, VI preloaders, welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me, and you know this by now, or at least you should. For those of you that have never been to this channel before, welcome to you as well. My name's Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant, and the name of this wonderful channel is Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. And by your motorcycle, I mean any type of motorcycle. I want to make that clear, guys. This is not just about baggers. This is about all types of motorcycles because the rules don't change. All right, guys. So in today's video, um, I know I talk about U-turns a lot. Everybody talks about U-turns, but we, it's talked about a lot for a reason because it's one of the slow speed skills that most motorcycle riders fear, right? Very intimidated by it. Um, so this video is not gonna be me talking about all the techniques that's used. I have plenty of videos for that. Um, and I'll put that up here on the, on the card. But I'm gonna talk to you about why I feel it's important not only to practice your U-turns, but practice with cones. Now, yes, you don't need cones to practice. Like I can practice U-turns without cones, um, but I like to give people some confinement and you're going to feel more confinement with objects, not just lines, and points of reference. The other thing that's important is judgment. So when you first learn how to drive a car, I've, at least in my experience, um, one of the biggest things that people have an issue with is judgment. Can I fit my car through this space? And that's why you'll see somebody going very slowly through a space and then someone behind them that's more experienced with less patience will be like, come on, you can fit a tractor trailer through there, which you could. But because that person is still struggling with the judgment thing, they don't feel comfortable about it. So they're going to slow down. So that applies in a way to your U-turns as well. If you already know what you can do on your motorcycle, you're going to feel a lot better about it when you get out there in the real world. So what I'm referring to is like right now, the box that I use for my U-turns is 27 feet wide, right? Now, my preference is for you to be 24 feet or less, right? No more than 24 feet. Um, and that's because 24 feet is A, what you're required to do in an MSF course to pass. B, it's usually the width of a country road, right? Like it's not an excessive U-turn at all. 18 feet or less, that's an excessive U-turn. I say that all the time. It's not necessary. And again, this channel is not meant to be any type of competition. We're not trying to prove anything to anybody, but we are trying to be the boss of our motorcycle, which means we don't want to be intimidated by this motorcycle or any type of motorcycle when we slow down. This is the only vehicle in the world that our heart rate goes up the slower we go, <laughs> right? So that's what we want to change. That's why we have to practice. So if I know, a couple of things, guys. First of all, with this motorcycle in particular, I know that I can make a U-turn with this motorcycle in 18 feet straight up, right? Straight up. I don't have to lean the motorcycle at all. And I know that because I've done it out here. I've, I've, I've actually done it on video. I'll put it in this video too. But I put the motorcycle on the line, lock the handlebars all the way to the left or to the right, whichever way I'm going and then duck walk the bike slowly. And that's gonna let me know how tight that motorcycle turns without a lean. All right, let's just try to turn it. Locked. And let's just duck walk it. So you can see guys, I'm well in 18 feet. Easily, very easy, with no lean. So if I can do that with no lean, I know for a fact I can do it leaning. I just don't have to lean a lot. That's the beauty of it. Nice and easy. And I know if I can do it once, I can do it and just hold it. 
right? Now when we get in the real world, for the most part, we're going to be leaning in our turns. But sometimes that's not necessary out there as well. It all depends on the situation. So because I know that this motorcycle can make a 18 foot U-turn without leaning at all, I know that the majority of the turns that need to be made out in the real world, I can make them because the majority of turns in the real world are not less than 18 feet or 18 feet. So I know that when I make a U-turn, I don't have to lean excessively to make it. And that's why I always tell you guys, nothing is excessive out here, but I want you to know what you're doing and I want you to feel confident when you do it. And the way we build our confidence is we practice, we know that this is 27 feet. So because we know that's 27 feet, if we make a U-turn within that distance, then we kind of can eyeball that, right? So again, this is 27, I'd prefer you be at 24. So make yours 24 feet and do some U-turns in it, right? And once you do U-turns in it and you feel confident in that 24 feet, now I want you to eyeball it, like really look at it. And what's gonna happen is over time, when you're out there in the real world riding, you'll be able to look at a street or look at any, any space and be able to determine, can I make a U-turn in that spot? And because you practice so much and you're accustomed to making U-turns in 24 feet, you can look at something and tell whether it's 24 feet or whether it's less than 24 feet. Now, of course, if it's less than 24 feet and you don't feel confident doing it, don't even try to do it. You know, duck walk the bike. You do what you got to do, but you make a mental note that I need to go back and practice that. Now, if you're in this box and you're doing 20 foot U-turns, now that, again, that applies to you. Now, 20 foot is something that you can eyeball. And the beauty of 20 feet is, if anything is more than 20 feet, you know for a fact you can do it, right? If it's close to 20 feet, you might be thinking, eh, I don't know. But remember, if you're making 20 foot turns in the box, leaning the motorcycle all the way over, I want you to keep that in mind. If you're leaning it all the way over and you're making 20 foot turns, that means that if a turn is, if a U-turn is wider, you don't have to lean it that much. But like I always tell you guys, nothing's really excessive. You know, I want you to operate your motorcycle within the parameters of the motorcycle, what it can do, and your skill level. And that's why I always say a confident rider is a safer rider. Because the more confident you are when you're out there, safer you're going to be for you and for anybody around you. So what I did, guys, is I took Violet out into the real world to a couple of situations that are real world applications as it pertains to U-turns on your motorcycle. Stuff that people do all the time, stuff that I see them do all the time, and stuff that I'm sure you guys experience as well. All right, check this out. All right, so line the line, that's 20 feet. So, of course, you can go a little bit over the line to give you some extra space, but, 20 feet. So of course, if I'm on this road and I'm approaching, I feel very comfortable. Head and eyes, look over my shoulders, make a U-turn. And I know in 20 feet, probably not the best thing to do in this kind of road, but I can do a, I can do a U-turn like this straight up. Right, just in case you're not comfortable leaning. But on, a, but on a road like this, I got a curve in front of me. I don't want to be taking my time. Just go for it. Nothing crazy, nothing scraping. Now I can look at this road and clearly see it's wider than that last road. But this is what I'm talking about when I say you become, you, you know, you get an eye for it. But let's measure it. Line to line. Twenty-four feet. And 24 feet, like I said, is usually the width of a country road. And this is, so that's why 24 feet is my minimum, along with me saying that 24 feet is the minimum for an MSF course. It's for this too. So this is the, the, the width of a U-turn that you should comfortably be able to make. So I can easily come here, make a U-turn. Plenty of room to spare, right? Plenty of room to spare. Nothing extreme either. Plenty of room. All right guys, this is where most of us have 
bad stories to tell about our motorcycles riding slow speeds and slow speed maneuvers, and that's the gas station. So let's measure this pump to pump. Now I'm going to measure it pump to pump, even though you're not going to be making a U-turn right here, all the way to right there, because your bars would be hitting uh, the actual pump. But let's just see. Okay, so that's 23 feet, 6 inches. So if I, if I start from here, which is a lot more realistic as far as making a turn. And I go to here, 20 feet. So now we're at the same width as we were on, that, uh, on the first road, right? We already know we can make a U-turn in 20 feet. So because we know we can make a U-turn in 20 feet and we can do it easily, Forget about looking at the pumps and roaring about the pump because that's what people do once obstacles are there. They become target fixated and they, they, they're worried about the target so much they look at it and then they go right for it. Meanwhile, all you need to do is turn your head and your eyes, turn the handlebars, release the clutch into the friction zone, commit to the lean right away, and you already know you could do it so you'll be fine. So don't, don't let this mess with you. All right, so if I'm at this pump, Damn it, the pump doesn't work, but that one does. No big deal. And again, it doesn't have to be that extreme. Let's suppose you need 24 feet. No problem. Nobody says that you have to make the turn between the two pumps, right? This is not a competition. Pull out a little bit so that you can swing right and then make a U-turn nice and wide. Nice and easy. Rear brake, rear brake. Friction zone, friction zone. Straighten out, straighten out. Smooth stop. All right, guys. So this is the U-turn that a lot of people make, motorcycle riders, coming to Harley-Davidson. They come down this lane right here and they make a U-turn to go in this direction. Now, it's two lanes on this side of the roadway, but like I always say, what if the right lane is occupied? So I'm not even going to measure from the turning lane to the right lane, even though that's where you're going to be going. But let's suppose there's construction over there. This is where our training comes in. Now, if we pull into this lane right here, and I've seen people do this on motorcycles, to give themselves as much room as possible, they actually stop their motorcycle here. Now that doesn't make sense because it's less safe because you're closer to the traffic. You're making a left turn, so you should be on the left side of the lane. So I'm gonna measure from the left side of the lane to the farthest, the farthest side of the lane, the first lane on this side. So let's say from about right here. This is a ton of space, guys. I'm gonna tell you that right now, just by looking at it. Thirty-three feet, guys, and if I come all the way over to the right lane, forty-five feet. Ask me how many people I see make this turn and end up on the shoulder. And no, they're not doing that on purpose. That's how wide their U-turn is. So this is another indication of, you know, just not practicing because that's a ton of space, especially based on what I've already shown you guys and what I've already measured. Now, yes, I know I measured from over here, and most people are going to come about right here, but it's still plenty of room. So I'm going to make the turn into the left lane. That's nice. Nothing crazy. All right, guys, now I've done a video. Actually, I've done a couple of videos on this road before, and I can tell you right now, this road is not only narrower than 24 feet, it's actually narrower than 18 feet. Now the surprise to me, let me measure it. Now I like to go from line to line. In this case, I'm going from pine needles to pine needles, but the line's right under it. I can see it. Oh wow, look at that guys. That is actually 18 feet on the dot. So 18 feet on the dot, I know that I can make a turn here, but like I always say, a U-turn on a road or anything 18 feet or less 
it's extreme, it's excessive, it's not necessary, but it's a good skill to have. All right, let's do it. I'm just gonna turn my head and my eyes, turn the handlebars, commit to the lean right away. I'm good, nothing excessive. Let's see if I can do it straight up. But I gotta lock these handlebars all the way. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. Throw a little trust and believe in there. All right guys, now this is the same park that I practice in and that I do my practice sessions in. And I often come out of the parking lot when we do follow the leader. And I stop here to make a U-turn from a stop. Now we just finished doing the same thing with the cones and the most space we have there is 27 feet. Now I don't have to measure this. This is from where I'm sitting to the grass on the other side, I, actually to right before the grass is 28 feet. So clearly I don't wanna use all 28 of those feet and sometimes when I do uh, follow the leader, I tell people wherever I stop, that's where you stop. I'll have people stop all the way on the right side of this lane to give them more space to make this turn. So this is another example of, you know, thinking about this. I'm talking about people that did it in 27 feet with no problem too. So a lot of the times we get in our heads when if you just follow the techniques and you trust and believe that as long as you provide power, sufficient power to the rear wheel, turn your head and your eyes, turn the handlebars, you're gonna be just fine. You're gonna make that turn with no problem, I guarantee you. Commit to the lean right away, nothing extreme here. You don't have to lean a lot at all to make a U-turn in this location with this much room. All right, let's do it. That nice? Nice and easy. But even, even if I don't wanna make the turn that tight, like I said, you got 28 feet, so use all the space that you have. The same rules that apply when we're dealing with the cones, we want to maximize our space, so. So you don't have to lean as much, all the way out. No problem. All right, guys, so that pretty much sums it up. Um, the Harley Davidson thing, that's always funny. I could just sit down there and put a chair and just eat some popcorn and watch people make U-turns there, right? But it just shows me how many people need to practice and need to prioritize this and they're just not understanding that it's not just about U-turns. If this intimidates you, you have to put that in the back of your mind and realize you're a little dangerous out there when you're riding. If, you've, if you feel apprehensive about just making a simple U-turn, that means there's other things that you have a problem with too. Trust me, it's not just about U-turns. As it pertains to the gas station, uh, remember, sometimes the gas station has uh, slippery substances on the ground, whether it be oil or fuel spills. So always make sure you check that out before you decide to make a U-turn in a gas station. And everything else is pretty much simple, guys. Um, all right, I wanna tell you guys something. While I was in the gas station, the first U-turn that I made, I don't know if you heard it by listening to my engine, but I knew when I made the U-turn, come on, Robert, you're not following your own first five steps. I was in second gear when I went to do that. When I made that U-turn, I was in second gear. I felt it, I heard it, but by that time I was just like, screw it, I just raised the RMPs a little bit more. All right, guys, so remember, follow the first five steps. If you don't know what the first five steps are, definitely check out my practice session videos. All right, guys? All right, listen, I hope this video helped you out, guys. I enjoyed making it for you. It gave me a chance on this beautiful day to just ride to all different parts of Savannah and Pula, Georgia, just to record these short clips. So these things take a long time. I'm talking about these videos. Even if it's a short video, it takes hours and hours sometimes to film and then another hour and hours to edit. Right? But I appreciate you all. I'll do this for you all the time because I love you and I want you to be safe. I want you to really enjoy riding your motorcycles. And if you guys that think you really love riding your motorcycles, oh my gosh. Wait until you actually know how to ride it and watch how much appreciation you gain and how much more love you have riding one of these machines so that you could be the boss of it and not it be the boss of you. If you're not subscribed to this channel, guys, please do so. It definitely helps me out. Hit the like button. That helps me out as well. Share these videos so we can spread the knowledge. And hit that notification bell, switch it to all, so that you can always be notified anytime I put out a new video, guys. 
Appreciate you spending the time with me. If there's anything you could be doing with your time, the fact that you chose to spend a little bit of it with me, that's always appreciated, guys. Spend more time being thankful for the things that you have, guys, and less time complaining about the things that you don't. Seat time doesn't equal practice time, guys. I don't care how good your seat looks. It doesn't equal practice time. And if you have time to ride these things, you have time to practice on them. Until next time.